All right, so here we are. This is the Warlords of Draenor collector box set released today for the first time anywhere. And we're going to take a look and see what this box is all about. Okay, first off, I mean, I love the box sets as mentioned in previous videos. Um, very nice job. Blizzard do a great job on the box sets. They're sturdy. They're collectible. They fit on a shelf nice. And you can see, sorry about the glare. Lots and lots of stuff. Oops. <laughs> lots and lots of stuff that kind of come with it which is very cool, um, including digital items and real world items. So things like mouse pads and art books and stuff. So very good job. And I mean, for the price for me, it's totally worth it to get the box set, even though there was a little weight involved instead of being able to play at four o'clock in the morning. Okay, I just got the shrink wrap off here and we're gonna take a look at the box for the very first time. Um, oh, this is interesting. I kind of thought it opened this way. It's been a while. So I kind of forgot it opens to the side. So. Let me try and see if I can shimmy this with one hand. Might not be able to do this. Oh, there we go. It's coming. All right. So inside the box, we can see that the box slides out here, which hopefully I can do one-handed. Maybe not so gracefully. All right. One second. Okay. I got the box inside the box, outside of the box. So now we're talking like uh, three boxes deep here from the original Amazon box to the collector edition box to the box that holds the stuff. On top here, you see the art book, but Blizzard do a great job with art books. And it's not like the type of thing I read all the time or look at the pictures or whatever, but it's just really nice to have. And sometimes it's fun to look through the older ones and just kind of see how far the games, you know, kind of made it along since the very beginning, which is awesome. Um, nice, very collectible, you know, good quality book, and great quality pictures. And I'm not gonna show like every picture here, but um, I'll show you in a few minutes some of the artwork on the inside. But first, let's see what else is in the box. Ooh, my new mouse pad. Um, I love the mouse pads that come with it. Um, I've been using them um, on different various rigs. And um, it's a good quality mouse pad. I mean, it's not steel or whatever, but just, you know, it has nice rubber on the bottom, nice responsive, and of course, it's got some nice Warcraft artwork on it too, which is cool. And inside the box next, we have the CD, it looks like. If I can get it out, let's see here. Hmm. Ah, I see this little tabby thing. Okay, the CD right here, the original soundtrack. So if you're not playing Warcraft or if you're playing Warcraft and you want to listen to the music um, outside of the game, um, here is a CD, and that's nice to have. Kind of collectible thingy. And I really do enjoy these a lot. Um, oh, actually, this is the actual game. I guess they give you a hard copy of the game on CD or DVD. I guess it's a DVD, um, just like if you were to buy one in the store. So you actually do have a hard copy, which is good for backup and stuff feels heavy. That's one thing I noticed. Wow. There's probably some stuff on the inside of here too, like cards or um, sample codes or something. So we'll take a look at that in a second. Next up is one of my favorite things is the making of DVD. Oops. If I can get this out with one hand. Um, making of DVD. It's always fun to hear the designers and people talk about this. I mean, so much goes into making a game that you don't really hear about, you know, artwork and everything and physics and, you know, uh, AI, if you will, and trying to make every little thing about the game work properly. It's fun to hear for the people themselves who made the game. Um, they're always really proud of, you know, their work. And of course, you know, millions and millions of people play it and love it. So um, it's kind of cool to hear from the actual people themselves. And this is the best way to do it um, as part of the box set. And then also, um, I don't want to show the codes here. Um, looks like there's some codes. Um, there's a Hearthstone thing here with a whole bunch of um, codes on it, which I guess gives you free cards. Hopefully no one's seen that. <laughs> um, next free thing in here is something at 25% discount at the Blizzard store, and a special code for that, so that's pretty cool. Get a plushie or something. Next is a guest pass for World of Warcraft, if anyone's not playing it. Um, next is a guest pass for StarCraft, a really fun game. Um, and if you're not playing that, you should check it out. And then um, there is another guest pass for World of Warcraft. So those are all the guest passes that come with it. Let's take a look at the art book real quick. Again, Blizzard does such a nice job on these books. I mean, it's you can feel it's textured, um, very good quality art book. This type of thing would probably sell for about 20 bucks in a bookstore, maybe more even. Um, and it's not like the inside is all cheap paper. This is like nice, thick stock, glossy colored pictures, lots of cool stuff, talks about the game, and mostly has art from inside the game. Um, I like looking through, sometimes there's like things that were in, like in the beta or original design ideas that never actually made it into the game, so it's kind of cool. And sometimes they show kind of the physics of how they think things work 
and um, it gives you some clues what's in the game. But to be honest, the very first time I play the game, I don't usually go through the whole art book because I kind of don't want to have any spoilers. I want to like see things for the first time, so I'm not going to go all the way through the art book. Just a few pages in here for you. But um, I might make a video, a, a video later of the whole art book if that would really interest you. But honestly, if you like art books, just buy the box set. It's totally worth it. You get a lot of stuff. And the game itself is pretty close in price to the box set price, so it's really worth it. Looks like there's going to be some really cool stuff. Looks a little bit of an Asian influence for part of it here. Some jungle stuff. Looks like a lot of stuff to look forward to. Maybe some kind of city in this, the clouds or something. But um, all right, enough of that. And that is pretty much everything I'm going to show you for right now because, honestly, I want to get to playing the game. So, um, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, be sure and subscribe and thumbs up and be sure and put some comments down below and tell me what you think of uh, World of Warcraft in 2014. Um, if you bought the box set, if you didn't buy it, um, what your plans are as far as playing other games or what you're doing, okay? Um, but, everyone, I hope you're, for those who bought the game, I hope you really enjoy it. It looks totally awesome. And I will see you in the World of Warcraft. Thanks. Bye-bye. Starting three, two, one...